think that he is just a figment of your imagination. Don't think that film directors only make them up to scare the hell out of us. Don't think that he doesn't really exist. For choosing not to believe in the devil won't protect you from him. He is real. And our spiritual battle goes on. Because we read from the book of Genesis that uh, God created all things good. But then uh, our uh, experience is there are evils in the world, there are sufferings in this world. Later on, of course, the suffering that we experience are attributed to spiritual forces that are evil, we call them the devils. They are not equal to God. They say they were spiritual beings who rebelled against God. They were also responsible for tempting human beings that they would deceive human beings would rebel against God. So the Book of Wisdom says evil and death comes to the world through the evil one. Blessed Pope John Paul is happy to be smart that uh, if you do not believe in the devil, no, you do not believe in the gospel, right? because uh, it is a very clear teaching that uh, even uh, Jesus himself came to, to, uh, to give us the truth about uh, the spirit world. It is it's part of our dogma, dogma of the church, that uh, there is the existence of the angels, the good and the bad. And to disbelieve in the existence of these preternatural beings is uh, heretical. The devil knows that whenever he destroys even a single soul, he plunges a dagger into God's heart. But they specifically target uh, those people who try to get close to God. Because yung mga masamang tao, alam natin that they do not need to exert that much effort and that they, more or less their souls are there. So, sabi nga ni St. John in the Gospel, no? those who are in sin are his children already. And so he would tempt us to fall into sin. But he can also inflict us in extraordinary means like oppression, demonic obsession, infestation, and even possession. Amidst the darkness, that the devil has brought into this world. We see a line in the book of Genesis. It says, I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. It shall bruise your head, and you shall bruise his seal. The story is called uh, later on the Proto Evangelium. It's the first good news because after the fall of man, of course, uh, punishment has been given to them. In this punishment, there is a sign of hope. The woman would bear a son, and uh, the seed of the woman would always be in conflict with the sin of the snake, uh, symbolizing the devil. This woman would be would symbolize uh, the blessed mother. And the seed of the woman, which is man, can be referred to the Lord Jesus because among the sons of human beings, it is only Jesus who has really the power to conquer the, the evil one. The woman in the book of Revelation would symbolize the new Israel, which is Mother Church. Again, in the development of our understanding of Christology and Mariology, this woman would easily apply to the Blessed Mother, especially in the light of the fact that this woman would be saved by God. Eventually, she would be crowned with 12 stars. And so this, among the daughters of Eve, it is uh, in the Blessed Mother that this prophecy you know, finds its full fulfillment. 
in the face of Satan, the enemy, the tempter, and the accuser, Mary, our mother, has come to our help to slay the devil inside and outside of us. She was never under the power of the, of the evil one. Right? And therefore, uh, we know that uh, because of this, you know, the devil is really talagang uh, kalit siya Mama Mary. And not only that, uh, because Christ himself has given Mama Mary to us as our mother to protect us. Right? And therefore, of course, uh, the devil also hates her so much because it is Jesus himself who has given the church Mama Mary as, as a mother. It is very humiliating for the devil to be defeated you know, by by a person, by a human, a totally human person, with Christ. Right? Although he is, he, can, he is defeated by Christ. Christ is both God and man. But uh, with Mama Mary, when uh, it was shown to her, according to church tradition, that she would be queen of the angels. Ayon na ayon yon, because this is a, a totally human person. Father Gabriel Amar, the chief exorcist of the Vatican, says. The demon is so terrified of Mary that he will never pronounce her name. Madalas yung ginagawa namin, no? kung talagang mabigat yung kaso and talagang we've done our part and uh, matagal na ilang, ilang oras na, pagod na pagod na kami, no? then we would uh, uh, go meet together as a group okay? and then we would just make uh, some form of uh, prayer to Mama Mary for her intercession and then uh, pagbalik na namin, wala na. Spirit uh, usually is already gone, and uh, I remember 100% of the, our cases. Now we did this 100% rin uh, na umalis yung demonyo. Call upon Mama Mary, and she will uh, she will intercede and intervene, and uh, the case will be closed very quickly. But Father Zakia was not spared from the retaliations of the devil. He would face some free accidents. His family members were hospitalized. He would have horrifying nightmares. And the people around started to avoid him in fear that they might also be the next targets of the devil. I remember once I went to the Blessed Sacrament in our chapel seminary. And I just prostrated myself and I told Mama Mary that uh, I will not stand up here until you answer my prayers. And I'm asking now for your protection from any form of retaliation or harassment, or else I will not continue this ministry. And you know, I was there for a very long time, not to be. And luckily, the seminarians were in uh, vacation. And I felt deep in my heart that Mama Mary answered my prayer. There was a deep inspiration and peace, and uh, really touched me so much. You know, that I, I, when I stood up, I, was a bit, I could feel a lot of joy in my heart. And after that, you know, all the harassment, retaliations stopped. For four years of working as an editorial assistant of St. Paul's Publishing, Mabel Grace did not experience any spiritual harassment until he started working on Father Sikia's book on exorcism. Parang yung first meeting ko sa kanya nun, parang may kakaiba na siya. Hindi ko naman alam na uh, parang siya pala yung pinakahead ng uh, exorcist, exorcist office Director. dito sa Manila. Oo. So parang first encounter namin, parang parang katulad sa pelikula. Alam mo yun, parang may hangin, <laughs> tapos parang may banging agad ng, do ng door, tapos parang mayroon siyang binigay sa akin na file. Sira yung computer, mga ganun lang. Tapos, uh, po nagtatrabaho rin ako ng mga libro niya. Parang every time na gagawin ko, ano, uh, parang lagi akong uh, disturbed. Samantalang, uh, ito naman sa St. Paul's, maraming libro na tinatrabaho. Pero every time na yung, kanya yung gagawin ko, parang laging restless. Tapos bukod pa dun, parang yung, uh, lagi masakit yung ulo mo. Lagi masakit din yun siya. Tapos uh, karaniwan rashes. Uh, Tapos binigyan din niya ako ng oil para uh, gagamitin ko. Ito yung hinangangat sa akin. Ganyan. Tapos ang ginagawa ko pa, para magkaroon ako ng concentration. Uh, ano, 
rosary. Well, the rosary has always been used by the saints. No? They would put it around the neck of possessed people, and uh, how would you call this? Uh, uh, the demons would leave. Even until now, exorcists would do that. The, the rosary is like a chain, no? a chain and a burning chain around them. But it is uh, a sacramental, therefore, uh, it is a blessed object. Therefore, anything that is uh, not of God gets burned in its presence. Father Armand Tangin, a devotee, painter, and author of the book, Mother of Surprises, has been blessed with a special grace from the Blessed Mother. Uh, so far, parang wala naman ako experience na meron ako ng spiritual harassment of that devil, no? But uh, one thing that is consoling to me, most probably the reason walang ganon because not only one but around five people who claim to be psychic and who, who, uh, who have ESP powers, sabi nila, uh, meron daw akong shield. A lady came to me at ang sabi niya sa akin, uh, huwag ko kayong magagalit at saka huwag okay, matatakot. Pero nung pumasok kayo, I have seen a very thick purple cotton-like shield from Mother Mary. And so, though not an exorcist, he was once asked to pray over a boy who was claimed to be possessed. Unusual action ng bata. Yung nagsisisigaw, yung bigalap na nai, no? pagkatapos eh, yung pag nagwawala, even 5 to 6 men, hindi siya makakontrol. No? Ano tapos yung kanyang mata? It was really, really sharp. Namumulang muna. Ah, nagdasal ako. Masabi ko, Lord, no? I'm not in control. You are in control. So, I asked also the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Masabi ko, I cannot do it myself. Please help me. So, I prayed over and ask na kung whatever possession, bad spirit he, he had, no, to help me drive away the, the spirit. After praying, hindi po siya ng communion. Tinanggap ang communion. When he received the communion, very calm, very calm. We are not alone in this spirit or battle. We should not fear anything because Jesus had already triumphed over the devil. Mary, as our mother, would not also leave us. As long as we have deep faith in her, the evil ones would not dare come to us. As Saint Alphonsus Ligori would say, the demons stay away from those happy souls who breathe forth the fragrance of devotion to Mary.